Right, so for those wondering about Apple's next line of chips, Mark Gurman gives us all the tidbits. And so let's delve into it, but first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. So let's begin with the base M2 chip. We're gonna see this launch relatively soon, so what can we expect? Well, we're gonna see four performance cores, those are codenamed Avalanche, and four efficiency cores that are named Blizzard. So yeah, the same CPU layout as the M1 chip, but the cores themselves are gonna be based on the A15 chip, so they're gonna have a higher clock speed. However, the bigger upgrade with the M2 chip is gonna be the GPU cores because we're gonna see that go from 8 to a whopping 10 GPU cores with the high clock speed. And so yes, while the CPU performance might be a small upgrade, we can expect a pretty major leap with the GPU performance. And yeah, that is the right move because Apple nails the CPU aspect of their chips, but the GPUs aren't as strong as they could be and so improving that with the M2 chip would be pretty nice. And do remember that like the M1 chip, we should see a binned variant that has 9 GPU cores going to the base MacBook Air and the base iMac. But anyways, this has been reported on for many weeks, and so let's now move on to the new tidbits, and that first begins with the M2 Pro and the M2 Max. So in terms of CPU cores, we're going from 10 to 12, so I do think that means we're going to see 10 performance cores and 2 efficiency cores with these M2 chips. However, what's surprising is the GPU performance because obviously much like the M1 Pro and the M1 Max, you would expect the GPU cores to double or quadruple the regular M chip. So for example, the M1 Pro had 16 GPU cores and the M1 had 8, and then of course the M1 Max took things further with a 32 core GPU. And so one expects that with the M2 chip getting 10 GPU cores, the M2 Pro would get 20 and the M2 Max would get 40 cores. Well, surprisingly, German believes that won't be the case. Instead, he expects the GPU cores to stay the same as the M1 Max and the M1 Pro chip. So yeah, that means 16 and 32 GPU cores for these new chips. Now yes, I know we're getting A15 cores that have a higher clock speed, but not increasing the actual GPU cores is kind of a letdown. Now many did ask German about this on Twitter and he said he believes we're not going to see a cluster of 10 because of binning. And I guess that is a fair point because there is a chip shortage and Apple is trying to work their way around this by doing aggressive binning with their chips. And so German says while there is a chance we could see 20 or 40 GPU cores with the M2 Pro and the M2 Max, it's also possible that due to supply shortages, Apple sticks with 16 and 30. And yeah, I guess at the end of the day, the M1 Pro and the M1 Max are still very good chips, and so even a minor improvement over those chips is going to be welcome. Anyways, moving on to the M2 Ultra chip, we should see with the next gen Mac Studio, this also has the same GPU cores as its M1 counterpart, but the CPU cores are going to be increasing from 20 cores to 24. CS so yes, once again, pretty minor changes. But now we come to the chip in the Mac Pro, so there was a report a few weeks ago that did suggest we're not going to see four M1 Maxes put together for the Mac Pro because the M1 Max only supports a two die configuration. And Apple did kind of confirm this since they did specifically mention at the March event the M1 Ultra was the last entry in the M1 lineup and so clearly that means the Mac Pro is going to jump to M2. And so yeah that brings us to German's report where he says the M2 Extreme is going to be four M2 Max chips put together so that's going to give us 48 CPU cores and a whopping 96 or 128 GPU cores. So yes, clearly the M2 Max is going to be supporting four die configurations and so that's basically what Apple's going to do with the Mac Pro chip. And that does bring me to a possible release because there's been rumours Dub Dub could be focused on the M2 chip and Apple did say the transition should be over in two years and so we could see some of these new chips launch relatively soon. Anyways guys, tell me in the comments below what's your thoughts on these new M2 chips. 
Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the link above on details regarding Apple's VR headset. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.